Our next question comes from HTX Cisco. That's a name if I ever read one. And he has a Ryzen 7 2700X question. Hi, I have a Ryzen 7 2700X that I bought back on, he's very specific about this, March 28th, 2019. I could say that better. That's just sitting in my closet. Would it make sense to use it in a mini ITX or a micro ITX gaming build, or am I better off selling it and getting something newer? Today's video was brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TechDeals. More details at the end of the video. If it's not a computer, sell it. That there's no reason whatsoever to build a machine around a 2700X at this point. This advice also applies to anybody else who goes, well, should I buy a used 2700X to build a cheap budget gaming PC? No, absolutely not. You shouldn't buy a 1700X. You shouldn't buy a 2700X. You should not buy a 3700X. You should buy a 5700X. Brand new, a 5700X is about $180, at least at the time of filming. 2700Xs are selling used on eBay for between $100 to $120, depending on if they have a cooler or not. It originally came with a cooler. Not everybody sells them that way. New, of course, they're ridiculous because they've been out of production for a while. The 5700X is a noticeable improvement in very many ways over the 2700X. Higher clock speed, higher instructions per clock, better core-to-core uh, -core latency because there's no infinity fabric. It's not two four-core chips glued together. It is a single eight-core chip monolithic with no latency. The entire L3 cache is available to all the cores at equal speed, which is not true on the 2700X. There is no reason whatsoever to build a 2700X machine in 2023 if it's not already built. If you have one built, great, but if you don't, no. Sell that chip, buy a 5700X, the difference in cost is less than $100. You might get lucky. It may be as little as $50 to upgrade, which is just absolutely crazy. Of course, 5700X all day long. You could also consider the 5700G. Now, you mentioned mini ITX or micro ITX gaming. If you're okay with integrated graphics and you're doing something really tiny and small, I've done a video testing a ton of games on the Ryzen 7 5700G, and a lot of it is playable. There are compromises, there are limitations. It's not the best, but it does work. Now, coming soon, AMD is expected to release later in 2023 true APUs, the replacement for the 5700G on the 7000 series. Now, it is true the 7000 series has integrated graphics, but they're very basic. They're not meant for gaming. You can, but don't because they're weaker. No. So a 5700G is an option. That being said, Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs. It is not very expensive to buy a video card these days. And while small form factors can be a challenge for video cards, $200 buys you an RX 6600, less than $100 will buy you an RX 580 or a GTX 1060, and those will blow the doors off of integrated graphics, even the 5700Gs. So sell your chip and build a new machine using something more modern.